Alright guys, um, today I want to show y'all how to uh, remelt your um, old used plastic baits and recycle them into new baits. Um, I use a lot of baits, um, soft plastic baits and stuff, so it really saves money not having to just throw them all away. Alright guys, so um, as you can see I have a big box full of just baits that like these are all from me cleaning out all my old compartments and stuff in the boat and tackle boxes and I just found tore up baits so um, first what you need to do is divide them up into colors so what I like to do is get like all the watermelons and green pumpkins together and all the dark like June bugs and black and blue and stuff together um, that really helps make the process a lot easier and comes up with better colors too. Alright, so I've got all of my natural color worms um, cut up in the Pyrex cup, and um, that's going to melt down a lot, but what I'm going to do is microwave it um, for like two minutes at first, and then in 45 second increments until it uh, gets completely melted. Make sure you've got a uh, oven mitt because this is going to be extremely hot. And begin. Get a kitchen knife and just start uh, mixing it together. There's some humidity in the air tonight, so there's going to be some uh, some moisture bubbles. You can kind of combat that by using a um, vacuum chamber. I just don't have one, so I'm just going to just deal with it. Alright, it still really hadn't started melting, so I'm going to give it another 45. And you can kind of just eyeball it, when you'll tell whenever it starts melting, and then you just, uh... Look at that big old bubble. It's starting again. Starting to get kind of soupy on me. So, get all that plastic good and mixed. It's still got a little bit to go.
BOGOs, I've got a single injector. But I messed up and left it uh, so we're just going to use the dual you can kind of feel it get stuck and fill up and once it's done you hold pressure on it for a little while then you can pull off uh, Add a little bit more. Empty the excess back out. And then whenever you get like this, you just pull it off and just kind of set it aside to be reused. Well, I got my regular injector freed up, so we'll be using that from here on out. What you want to do is on these you open that see how it's locked and then you can just kind of ease it off and there's something else to go in the pre melt pile think it's about ready so first I'm gonna clean this all off I nicked my thumb and the salt from the baits was getting in it and hurting me so second I haven't done this in a while and it likes to get stuck. So. Alright, let's see. That one's got a big air bubble in it because it didn't feel right. Let's see. So that's just going to go back in the pile. Um, did any of them? Alright, so the top three got bad air bubbles, but we can easily remelt them. Actually, the top four, so only the bottom one didn't. But um, you can see there's a perfectly good Senko. I'm going to go lay this out to uh, set up. Just put our mold back together. Do it again. That looks good. And we're gonna hold it when it fills and put some more on top. Here. All right, guys. There's the finished product. That's 16 um, watermelon colored uh, Cinco's, which is about two packs. I mean, that's like $14 worth of bait sitting right there. Um, 
yeah, they're, I mean, they're, it's a Cinco. It might not have quite the action that a uh, Yamamoto has, but it'll be plenty good enough to catch you a fish. And, um, best part is you're not wasting any of your plastic, um, your Toro baits, so.